Pokemon! It's a Minecraft frog? Minecraft frogs, gotta catch them all. In today's video, we're gonna work on how to get all three types of frogs, because it's a little bit complicated than most other mobs. Usually, you just find them, take them where you want, and breed them. Unfortunately, with frogs, what kind of frog you get depends on where it grows up. The equipment list is gonna be a little different than normal, because it kind of depends on how many frogs you wanna get. I highly recommend getting some good adventuring gear, at least 16 slime, but remember, the more slime you get, the more frogs you can get. At least 12 leads, that's so you can get four of each frog. You wanna grab some fence posts i recommend at least like eight of them and then finally you need buckets so you can grab the tadpoles uh, i'd say grab a stack when i was going out trying to get all these i grabbed a stack of each type of a thing and then if you're going to try to go to the nether of course you're going to need obsidian i calculate you need about 112 obsidian so you can make eight portals because you're going to need four on the overworld side and then you need to go up to the nether roof to make four on the top obviously you would need flint and steel ladders and ender pearls to be able to get to the nether roof and get all that done but if you're not going to the frog light farm and you're just trying to collect these in your base you could just uh, walk over the over land and not mess with the nether or you know be super brave and go through the nether with your frogs and try not to die um you do you i actually designed a farm around making frog lights and you can check out that video the link will be in the description below and at the end of this video as well so for now let's figure out how to get these frogs professor sherbert from the future here make sure you take down the coordinates in either the nether or the overworld or both of where the final place for the frogs is going to be that way you can get back to there that's kind of important once you're geared up go and try to find a swamp or a mangrove swamp whichever one you find first is fine and see if you can find some frogs i got kind of lucky there's some frogs right there we need at least two now i find that the tadpoles and frogs like to wander quite a bit and then in order to make a little hutch to keep the tadpoles safe and spawn the frogs in we're going to harvest a little bit of the wood you just need a safe place to keep the uh, tadpoles so once you have a, a hutch built you're going to want to have a little pool of water inside and you're going to leash the frog and bring it inside where'd the other frog go come on slowpoke come on all right let's go find your mate there you are see how much trouble these guys can be this is why we got to build this hutch get over here and leash them there close the door now we can breed these guys so of course they breed with slime and as of right now they don't make hearts over them when they're in love mode but they do go to the nearest water source and one of them will lay frog spawn you'll need your buckets for when the tadpoles spawn but right now we just have to wait for tadpoles while we're waiting this would be a good time to go ahead and make your nether portal this way you can get to the roof of the nether now i'm not going to cover in this video how to get to the roof of the nether if you feel like i should make a tutorial on that uh let me know in the comments below so with the portal done now we just wait for these guys to hatch eventually hey tadpoles only two i guess that'll work all right so now that we got some tadpoles scoop them up actually considering we only have two frogs here we're gonna let these tadpoles grow up and turn into actual frogs all right, now that these guys are all grown up, we're gonna go ahead and breed them again and get some more tadpoles. And then we'll wait for these guys to grow up. Uh. Now that we're geared up with a whole bunch of tadpoles, now you're ready to take these frogs wherever you want. If you made the frog light farm, use your uh, nether portal to go to the roof. You'll see that they disappear once they go to the nether portal. And when you go to the roof, you'll just have to leash them back up again. Once you're in the nether, as long as you have them leashed, follow you really fast. Now, of course, I don't recommend using Elytra because uh, they'll fly with you, but then when they land, they'll die. And that's all you have to do to get frogs and take them to the frog lake. Now, obviously, that only gets you one type of frog, either the orange ones or if you're in the mangrove swamp, you get the uh, white ones. So now you can do one of two things. You can either go find any one of the many biomes that are considered warm biomes, like desert, badlands, mangrove swamp, jungle, uh, go to any of those locations and build whatever little safety structure you want and place the tadpoles and wait for them to grow up. Or you can also go try to find the mangrove swamp to get the uh, white frogs that way. And the only way to get the green frogs is to go to a snowy area and let the tadpoles grow up. So basically, these same steps in different locations, but now we just need to do it twice more by finding the right biomes. Grab some wood and build yourself another structure, add poles in the pool, and wait for them to grow up. Once the frogs are all grown up, then just breed them again and get more frog spawn. So according to all the literature I could find, frogs should lay their spawn on any water block that has air above it. So... 
I don't know why they would not lay spawn on the water when there was mud around it, but the minute I put dirt, the frogs laid their spawn. So at this time, it looks like you need dirt around it or other blocks other than mud, at least, uh, to get the frog spawn. So I don't know if that's a bug, but that's how it worked for me. Let me know in the comments if you're able to get them to spawn with mud around them and if I was just being impatient or just put dirt around it. That seems like an easy fix. Anyway, and so while you're waiting for the frog spawn to grow up, another nether portal another nether and one more nether portal i don't know and go get onto the roof and build a portal up here now while you're waiting for the frog spawn to, to grow maybe rethink your life about whether or not you kept the coordinates uh marked down i keep a google document of coordinates throughout the world yay more tadpoles just so i can keep track of different uh coordinates both in the nether and overworld and i think that's the best way to keep track of where your different locations for getting frogs are so with those white frogs gather up the tadpoles we want and grab some frogs and now you got the white frogs and you can lead them to your farm or base the last location you're going to need to find is anything covered in snow and this is in my opinion the prettiest frog the green one you know what we're going to do now build yourself your structure place in your tadpoles build yourself a portal on the roof again then head back and wait for the frogs to spawn come on tadpoles grow up and once the most beautiful frog is all grown up, go ahead and breed them and get some frog spawn. Then we're ready to take our last frogs to the frog farm. And then you just take your green frogs and go pick up your brown frogs or whichever ones are on the way. All right, there we go. Uh, I don't know what kind of glitch this is. I haven't seen this before. And then head over to your frog light farm. And that's how to get all the frogs in the game into one location. So if you want the frog lights and you haven't already seen my frog light farm tutorial, make sure to check that out. Please make sure to subscribe and like this video so that more people can see it. And also, if you're interested, check out the vision craft episode where I make this farm in survival mode. But until next time, please play responsibly.